Yeah, so, um, but slowly, I, 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 as long as your boss knows you that you are on the video, yeah, you're supposed to do, know how to do the full stack thing, right? You have to do the front, from the back, from the test to deploy. I don't care. So, so yeah, we have to learn. Um, so, so we tried a few um, server. Um, AWS, AWS Amazon is one of them. And we have tried DigitalOcean, Heroku, uh, Modulus, kind of uh, big names currently. So today, we're supposed to deploy onto the AWS, which uh, actually I've tried, um, the, actually I've tried uh, some times ago, and I tried again yesterday, so it's the, same, it's the same, so it should be simple. Yes, but first of all, you need to get the account to the console. So I believe um, everyone have it already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because this is a, basically this this section is a, a, a hands on. It's like uh, we work work along. I mean, like along the together. So uh, if you don't have, you can sign up for the free first one year free tier account. So uh, yeah, uh, I have just signed up three days ago. <laughs> I mean, like uh, because because the one that we are using is like it's a client. We, we can't use a client one, so we have to use a personal one. So I use my own name to, to, to register. So basically, you need to input your credit card for, for, for a, a verifica verification uh, purposes. So if who has not signed up, then you can watch. <laughs> so yeah, or, or if you would like to, uh, you can sign up now. We can wait for you because it takes just a few minutes to 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 get it done. So, okay. Um, anyone need to sign up now? We can wait for you a bit. No, should we just continue? Okay. Okay. Basically, uh, uh, we will be using the EC two uh, instances for our server image. So yeah. So what normally you would like to do is like you need to create a, a key pair. That's um that is for you to log into the instance or I would say a server or, or what you want to name it. So basically, what you can do is um, you can import your own machine. Shell you know, SSH key, or you can create directly from the panel, the UI, you, the UI. So I think, um, yeah, we will do it both. Uh, input. Oh, I'm sorry, I did not. Create a key pair. Give it a name. Uh, which could which could be any name. So we call it media. Maybe call it media AWS. Yeah. Create. Then it will prompt you to download the the, 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 the the private key, I would say. So what you will need to do is you can move it to a to a safe place or safe folder where you want to no but normally what we would put it is under your home directory, the dot SSH folder. Yeah, I will put it here. So the so this is supposed to be safe enough, I suppose, because it's hidden. And what normally they would do is like only you can access the key, then you can you 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 sh you should change it change change the permission of the file. So what normally you you could do is, okay, you don't need to do it, but you could you could do it. But okay, go to your home directory dot uh, sdh, and then you I believe my key is here. Yes. So you can change your mod to four zero zero zero, is which means like only you can assess it. Yeah, basically. So it's a pretty cool thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, you, you you might not need to do it, but just for security purpose. Okay. We have a uh, a key. Then what you normally do is create a new instance. Basically, it's a new image from from different e operating system. So uh, well, I will select this one because I only try on this one, but I believe there might be other, like Windows image. Yeah. Select the one. Okay, because it's a free tier, 
thing. So we are limited to use only the the, the smallest uh, instance. So review. Yeah, basically you can add more uh, if you have if you need extra storage or whatever, you can edit here, I, I suppose, to edit your storage here. But uh, yeah, we don't need. Launch it and select the one that you your key pair, basically. So launch the instant. Yes. Okay, and we are done. So what you are looking at is basically a, a Linux server. So let it let it run a bit. I you can rename you can rename you can name your your instance. Let's say BTU. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's running. It's very quick. Okay. So and this is the IP address. Uh, I believe you can use the public DNS, but uh, I just use the IP at the moment. So I just copy this one and try to log into the to the instance. So. The default, the default username for most of the, the instances, like even though in DigitalOcean, uh, the, the username is root. root um, but uh, for AWS, uh, they encourage you to don't use root instead of use Ubuntu. I mean, for, for Ubuntu image, uh, use Ubuntu as the username. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. As long as I can log in, then it's, it's just fine. So I shall to. Um, Okay, I, I tried the, the route, then they will, they will prompt you and disconnect you. So let's try. Is it correct? Uh, yes. Okay, because we are using our private key, so um, for SSH to work, the default place to search is the one that we, we save. So which is uh, .SSH or something, but they will look for ID, RSA kind of thing. But you... But they, they don't know that your name is called meteoaws.pm, right? So you need to somehow give, let it know. So the flag of I is identity identity file. So you just give it your, where is your place? So it's supposed to be SSH, uh, I think. Oh, because I'm in the in the in, in that folder, right? So actually, yeah, I can just um just give you the name. Uh, me So hopefully we can, oh, of course, the first time you log into the server, they will add, it, the, add the IP to your host file. So you just click, hopefully it could log in. Yes, and then it will, it will, it will mention to you, that please log in as the user Ubuntu, yeah, rather than the, the user root, right? So it will disconnect you very soon. Okay, now it's disconnected. So next thing is, um, yeah, try, try, try to access to the to the server again. Uh, try using U, U, one, two. Uh, my B T U. Make it longer. Yes. Uh, now you can see that we already in our server, remote server. So, basically, that's all. You don't need to touch the instant any further. So we exit it. What normally now what start from now? What we are doing is uh, all from our local to deploy all your local file to the to the instance so to the server. So let's go to our folder. Is called meetup. Yes, and then okay. Now we create a new folder. Let's say you have or you already have a your 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 working Meteor app, but we don't have it, we create it now. So Meteor create, yeah, test, no. Uh, we put it as AWS then. Okay, so it will create the Meteor apps in your folder. So we go into it. Okay, so basically you will have all your file three files, that's the default uh, media application bootstrap, I would say. So, okay, the next thing is like, if you want to deploy to um, to the server, you need, you can manually do it. You can basically, um, okay, go into your instance, download the um, download the media package. Yes, and then download the node, download, download um, whatever you want to download. And then you can, 
do it all on the server. But um, we have a godsend npm package who is which is created by Aronoda, I suppose, uh, who has joined last meetup already. Met met him? No, not really. Well, yeah, maybe some some of the some of our guy. So what normally what you need to do is uh, is what he has created is like he abstract away all the complicated manual work. I would say it's uh, it's awesome. So uh, what we need to do is like we just need to download the npm package, which uh, normally what you do is like something like this: npm install. G is for global. If you want to only install on your local uh, your local folder, you can you can ignore the G. But but I just do it. Yeah. So it will install the npm package. Of course, uh, before you use npm, you have to have npm, right? So I believe that everyone already know what is npm. So, yeah, basically this is uh, what uh, what is the dependency and all this thing. So we have it now already. So what normally you would like to okay, let's say now you run it, right? You have all these um, default action. Basically, what we need to do is we only need to do three things. We first init it, and then set it up, and the third one is to deploy it. So basically, we will only use the first three thing or any any issue maybe any errors that, that you can you can print out the logs and see what what's that what's the what's the, the error okay so we have this uh, let's say okay we try this um project okay so actually we have this uh, project let's say you already have your project but we we use this uh, default dummy project so okay so what you need to do is like uh, the first thing is to just init it Basically, what init does is it just copy two files to your folder, which is the map JSON file and the settings file. Basically, the settings file is uh, is also how to say it's a native to Meteor because like you can put your environment settings into that folder. So regarding the settings .json, you can like look at the document and then uh, and look at what are the default some of the default um, properties that they uh, Meteor support. So okay, so basically now what we need to focus is we need to focus on the map.json. So let's see what's inside. Uh, folder. Okay, Jack, use your favorite editors. Subline maybe I don't know. Okay, and look at the file map. Oh yeah, give me one second. I don't know how to make it bigger. Ah, okay. Is it big enough? Okay. I suppose yes. Okay, basically just fill just fill in the configuration and it would it should work. As expected, I would say. Okay, uh, I highlight it is easier for you to see. Okay, host name. Uh, copy the IP. You can use your. You can use your the public the domain I suppose. I mean the the name. Uh, username. Ubuntu. Okay, password. We don't have a. We are not using password, so we can just comment it out. But uh, but we are using a a private key, so actually, of course, it's not in this this, this folder. So actually, it's, my name is called eh, AWS. Okay. Okay. So this is for authentication, of course, and then set up Mong. Can I see? Set up Mongo. Yes, definitely. You your application might or might not need, but uh, but it will only do it once. After that, um. After that, you will not do anything. Set up the node. Of course, if you if you install node already on your server, then you might not need it. But but eventually, you need the version of zero point ten point three six. If you try, I believe the the current um, the current latest one is like zero point one two or something like that. But I try it because like we like developer right, we always like the latest. Uh, yeah, I'll pump it to the to the latest one. Definitely is a, is better. But I try it already and it it's not working. So don't even try. So, just just use the default one. I have tried uh, the latest one, zero point one two, and then I tried the downgrade to zero point one zero point three three something like that, and it's, it's still not working. So okay, 
forget it. Just stick to the, def def the default one. Okay, and then the app name, um, you can have any app name that you can have uh, like a staging or deployment or production or whatever name you, you want, but of course no space like what you say, right? And then the location of your, of your project. So basically, normally you would run this map, uh, map basically is meteor up, right? So from your local folder, now the current folder, right? So basically what you need to do is just put a dot. So which you know is the current folder. So you can run from the current, current folder. And then this one definitely is your, your to be production URL, uh, domain, okay. So you, you can put it here. Basically this one is like, this is for the, when you use a meteor.absolute path, something like that, it will spit out this, uh, this URL, basically it's this URL. Uh, so yeah, so I, at the moment I just leave it like this. If you have extra environment, um, Property, I would say, uh, what's it called? Uh, environment property, property, yeah, okay. Parameters. But parameter, yes, you can. Then you can put whatever it's inside this. So actually, maybe you have a separate Mongo um, database, then you can put a, like Mongo something URL, something like that into it. So, but that is not in our scope now. Yep, and basically this one leave it, because like, it will check, see whether if the, the deployment is successful after like 15 seconds, maybe you need some uh, some uh, Mongo setup to do or whatever. Yeah, so it, basically I leave it, uh, I leave the default, it would, it would be, yeah, it would be just 15. I believe it's 15 seconds, yes. So you can just leave it. Yeah, it, basically we are done. I mean like this is like super straightforward, I would assume. Yeah, of course, now, now look at it, it's like super, uh, super simple, right? Because when we test it out and then we have to deploy it and then, ah, you have error and then you go to the internet and search for it. I hopefully can save you some time to not to try it on 0.12.12 and it's not working. Don't even waste your time. So, so basically this is the, this is what we, we are. So save it, of course, uh, yeah, this one is safe. And we can run the second command, which is call setup. Basically what it does is, uh, yeah, definitely it has more to, to do it uh, behind the scenes, but uh, basically what I understand is like, okay, it will bundle your application locally and then upload the whole bundle onto the server, which uh, you, you, set it, uh, you set the IP and all this thing, right? Onto it and then run an upstart uh, distribution, the Linux distribution onto it and then keep monitoring it. That's all. So, uh, yeah, so actually we just wait for the, the Command to finish. What yes. do you need the uh, I believe it's for spider, for some spider robot, this thing, oh. yeah, to, to, to work. Which like, yeah, yeah, SEO thing. But I believe you can don't put it, I don't know if this is a must. I never tried, but I, I leave the default <laughs> to the author. Oh. So, since he's got sent, so yeah. Okay, uh, hopefully we are still on track. Any problem so far? Yeah, because uh, because uh, uh, I I cannot see any problem uh, deploying on the AWS so far, but it, because it's like so oh, it's quite straightforward. I mean, like they make it uh, easier to to deploy. Uh, yeah, I I there is some some glitch, but uh, but but we will we will look into it. But it shouldn't be a problem actually. So this installs. All the uh, like Mongo. Yes, yes. Because the configuration already have it. So actually, it will set up your Mongo. It will set up. Uh, it will set up a node. It will set up. Uh, any dependencies to to it. So you can start you, with a big blank machine, right? Now. Yes. So actually, you can you 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 are seeing what are they actually are doing, right? They will copy. They will have a when you look into the source of the package, the npm package. Uh, you will see that okay. Uh, he has a lot of that templates file that he will copy over and then run. So basically it's like a, uh, yeah, something like a task list, something like a grant task list, something like that. So, yeah. Okay, wow, done. So good. Normally you hit a roadblock here, I mean like cannot copy or cannot whatever. Mm -hmm. Then you have to look into the documentation and see whether if your user has the permission to copy files and all these things. So you might need to uh, dig around. Yeah, but, 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 but from what you are seeing, right, 
basically I didn't do anything like pseudo or, or whatever shit whatever thing that that would block you but it looks so far it's okay okay so setup done uh, deploy okay basically after we deploy then it should be done hopefully yeah basically you will upload the, the your bundle to the server yeah this one no uh, I would say it depends on your your project if your project is big then it might take some time so but uh, our default leaderboard shouldn't oh no, it's not the leaderboard is a, it's a just click right it should be fine it should be fast I would say so yeah they will set up the environment uh, variable and yeah done Sorry, I saw some tutorial online that yes. teaches to use a NIT web server instead of Node.js is there any Sorry, again? use you the NIT NGINX. Nginx. Uh, Nginx. Nginx. Basically, the, the, the behind the scenes, I, I, I believe that they are using Nginx oh. to, for especially uh, the SSL portion, right? They need a, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and eventually, now I, I just look at it this, more, uh, this uh, noon, and they have another version, new version, which is working on, I mean, like MUP. The MUP has a new version uh, coming up and maybe still in deployment. Uh, deployment. So it, it works on Docker kind of thing, and then we will we'll use the. We use the NGX as a as a as okay. a thing, yeah. So I believe yes, at the at the, at the end of the year, yes, they are. Okay. So uh, I believe that they also use the the start thing, the start and the and the part thing, which is like to terminate for all this SSL thing. But uh, yeah, but uh, basically, basically you have to know that we are front end developer. Oh. So <laughs> <laughs> basically, before that, we don't know anything about the uh, other server or this thing, but. Uh, Yes, we, we, we really appreciate that uh, we have this guy to, to, to really make everything abstract it out so easily, right? So we hopefully not, uh, I don't know, because as a final developer, I should just care what I do I mean, in the front. Let's say uh, your, your, your CSS, your, your HTML, your, your JavaScript in the front part supposed to work. Anything related to the server backend, um, Thing should leave to expert. I mean, like they, they, they are expert on that. But eventually, you can you can't avoid it, right? If you go step into Meteor, right? You know, Meteor is like, oh, okay, you can learn one language and 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 do everything everywhere. So, yes, yeah. If you are in a small company, yeah, you you have to do it all. But if you are in a bigger company, maybe you are not. Okay, done. Basically, ah, okay. Do you think we will work? Oh, basically it's no. It, it will not work because like the default instance from AWS has no inbound, inbound port. Yeah, inbound port for, for you to access to it. Only have the 22 port, which is like the SSH port. So yeah, you cannot access it. Default group, security group from AWS is like, when you create a new instance, they will give you this launch wizard security group, which only have 22. So basically, you cannot do anything except for show it, show it, show into it. So, so what you need to do is just add a new one. Yeah, this one basically, uh, uh, you, you, because previously you totally have no idea, hey, why, why I cannot access it, and then you do a little of Google search and then here, there, uh, yeah. So now you save time. <laughs> you don't need to do anything. <laughs> okay, basically, uh, uh, it would be good that your instant has. Uh, group that specifically for your developers. You can go into security group and create which you think is most suitable for your developers or maybe your admins or, or whatever. So, but regarding creating group, I, I believe it's, it's simple. You create a group and then you give what role, no, what action you can, okay, let's try. Yeah, uh, uh, add some rules and then basically uh, give it a name. I tried yesterday, basically it's like, uh, you can set what the user can do in this group. So, but of course I'm not the best person to, 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 to walk you through the AWS app. Maybe, maybe next time we can have a... Do you, do you want me to talk you through the, the security group? Sorry? Do you want me to talk you through it? So, uh, if you go to your EC2 dashboard... Oh, sorry. No, okay, there's, a, there's an easy way to do it. Yep. Uh, yep. Running instances. This one? Yeah. Uh, now... 
on the bottom half of the page. Bottom half. Groups, okay. Uh, uh, that's it. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Isn't the same? Yeah. That's that's the current security group you're using. Oh yes. Oh, you've added the rule already. You've added HTTP. Yes, yes, yes. I just added. <laughs> okay. So yes, basically, uh, you can create another group that's spe uh, specifically for your developers. Maybe they can only SSH into it. They cannot view it or whatever. So you have your group already. Ha. Ah, okay. Basically, it works. We are done. So basically, that's a uh, deployed. I don't really call it as a production because I. I don't know. Uh, personally, they are a different kind, different school of thought that Meteor is really not ready for production. But uh, I don't know because like without a proper testing framework, especially, they say that okay, it's not really for production because like you cannot test your your product, you cannot test your your app, right? But but people, some people will say that okay, it's ready because like we already put for like twenty apps already. It's it's running no problem. But uh, that is different story. So so let them argue. We don't. No, but as long as I can make it onto the web and someone can use it, I, yeah, I call it production already. So, yeah. You can do it uh, staging, you can call it staging, you can call it, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, production or development or thing. So, yeah, cool. Yeah, we are done. Basically, there are some uh, extra, uh, I would say there are some, let's say if you don't want to, because this morning I saw one guy in the Meteor forum so coincidentally, they, he, has a, he has this hack pad which he did, he, he documented it down and then he literally do it himself. So he didn't use map. So he, he, yeah, he installed the Nginx, he installed all this uh, configuration and then he, yeah, he SGD, STV, HTTPS and then yeah, Apache and then all this MongoDB, uh, Upstart. Yeah, Upstart is the, the one that uh, Arun is using. So, and uh, yeah, NVM, your, your, your version, and your Node, your NPM, your Forever, your Meteor, your Build, whatever shit. So, he, I believe that he went through a very rough uh, path compared to us because like, we are just uh, do it uh, it's done of course if you need more manual tweak or or, or fine grind uh, management then basically you need to do it your way so do it uh, manually so but uh, but at the moment I think it's so far it's, it's fine and yeah you can have a uh, manage more of your user and through this uh, AWS um, documentation how you manage your user, uh, yeah. Let's say if you want to add more user to to the to the to your server and and kind of thing, yeah. Uh, if you don't know how to create your a shell key, basically just how we just created, right? Uh, yeah. The other thing is like, when if you want to use your own local uh, your local um, a shell a private key, you can just like choose a file to 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 upload to your public key. Basically, I have a public key, right? Something like this, it's like a public, right? So you just need to copy all this thing and, and put it in, then you can create your own key. Basically, it will match your machine, right? So done. But of course, we encourage you to use a, a private key instead of using a password, right? Because password, if you commit your mark.json file onto the GitHub, then yeah, someone can see it. So I don't know. So private key is the best to go. Like definitely AWS is like encourage you to use the key because it makes it so easy, right? You just click one click and download the form and put it in the folder and, and all done. Okay, and you can have different uh, server have different key. So yeah, so it's good. Okay, we are done. Any question? Uh, what do you do when you change a file and redeploy it? Yeah, you just run again, map deploy and done. So basically uh, it is super. So like uh, you really of course, if you want to do some, maybe some manual work on file syncing, then you might need to do it yourself. Shout into the 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 the, the instance and, and do whatever you want. So there's no like uh, Git or version control type integration. Version control? Like you you uh, still can do version control, of course, yes. On your continuous integration. Yes, I try it and not success. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, the I tried I I, I tried the Travis uh, continuous integration. Uh, actually, I I somehow success it on the package level, but not the app level because on a lab app level you you need a framework to do the, all the testing, right? 
So I believe uh, actually I look into it. For uh, actually the, the of course the our media god Arunda, he has actually previously looked into uh, building tra- Travis CI package for you to do it, but I believe it's already kind of out of date. Like uh, outdated already. So nah, yeah, not uh, no. But but okay, I, I think I can just quickly show you what I have get at least working on the on the package level which is something like uh let's see yeah something like this so basically you just need a, a, a continuous a, a file right what to run right basically what I need to do is like I install them I can see I just install the meteor and then I export the path of the meteor this one I have tried of like 10 times already cannot get it work so but now at least it works so and then I run a testing framework of the which is a mocha mocha package thing onto it and then it runs successfully at least so but of course my test case fell so yeah fell I mean, fell not, not yet but at least it deployed when you commit to your github it will run the test and it yeah at least it works so yeah so far for package level of course App level, then you might need another talk. Maybe who has already have experience on the continuous integration? Yeah, I. So, so the cheap version that you can do is since you, your pizza has a local, so you, you create a hook which then simply runs on your local machine the, uh, the map. So you check it out to another directory and then run the map there. So you have all the, uh, all the stuff there. And then you have your version control and you have your automated deployment. That's the, the cheaper version. Cheaper is good because it's fast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, basically, as long as it works, then yeah, I I think the the easiest way is the best better is the best way. Okay. Yeah, we are done. Thank you. So next one. Oh. Yes. Could you just log into the server and show where it deployed? Because I'm completely too. Oh yes, actually what? Uh, actually I don't need to because I, <laughs> it's already tell you where where it is in the documentation. Yeah, I can show you later. I mean, like, they will put it under. But of course, this is like super, the uh, uh, declared. I mean, like uh, a good documentation as in what actually he he has done. I mean, like it's like oh, just give you one moment. It's here. Basically, he will put it under here. Which is like uh, slash op and your your name. You just now we call it Meteor or something like that. So basically, it's here. So yeah, he he used some upstart for the configuration. Is here. If you don't like it, you can just change it if you want. And yeah, you can start. Of course, you can start your uh, your your server if you want, or you can stop it. And you can reconfigure it if you have changed your setting, uh, uh environment settings. Let's say you change your yeah because they're just like one of the. Uh, one of my project has a has a, uh, cast, a pr- proprietary uh, flag. They say, okay, uh, I need to do a migration, right? So I say, I say, okay, sitting is if my sitting is true, or if you want to migrate, then I turn it on, and then it will migrate all the thing. Or my, I migrate my script to the server. If you don't want it, you just turn it off and reconfigure, and then deploy it again. Or uh, you you don't need to deploy. You just you just reconfigure it. Done. So yeah, you don't need to. It's like amazing. I mean, like, yeah. Cool. Thank you. Any other problem? No. Yep.